Hi, boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Angela. And we are on day 67, 67 days we've been drawing together. And today, what do you think we're going to be drawing? You got it. We're going to be drawing a wolf. And he's, or, and he's going to be howling at the moon. Howl! So grab your paper and your pencils and your markers, crayons, and colored pencils and we are going to get started. Are you ready? Hi, boys and girls. Okay, are we ready to start? We are going to do an awesome wolf today. All right, I'm gonna put my head over here and I'm gonna grab my marker and let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do the head like we do all the time. We're gonna start with that first because it kind of puts everything else in place. Now we're going to draw, let me move this down a little bit so we can see it really, really well. Hopefully that's good for you. And um, oh, my hair is crazy with all these costumes and it's getting longer and longer the longer I can't have go to a hairdresser. All right, we're going to start with an egg shape. We're gonna put his head right over here, kind of a little bit to the side. So let's go. We're gonna put an egg shape just like this. But I'm gonna go out a little bit here. See how I normally go up and meet there? I'm gonna go out just a little bit at this side because we're gonna put his face, we're gonna have him looking up and howling at the moon. Now, we're gonna put a straight line up, just like that, and then we're gonna come down. This is gonna be his nose, but like I said, his head is tilted. So let's go down, and then when I get right about to there, I'm gonna make a loop. It's just like that, it's gonna be his little mouth that he's gonna be howling. And then we'll give him like a little lip. And then we're going to connect it to that part. So that is going to be the shape of his face. Kind of a strange shape, but it's all going to go into place because we're going to put his ears back over here. Instead of up on top of his head, we're going to put him here so it looks like he's tipping his head. Let's go ahead and make the first ear right here. And then we'll make the inside of it. And then we'll make the second ear. It's going to be right beside it but we're only gonna see part of it because it's kind of hidden behind the first ear. Let's go ahead and put a nose on it. So the nose is gonna go right up there in that little part we made. And I am gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna color it in with black now, and we'll put the little shine on there. We're gonna leave a little tiny bit of the nose white, and that's where the moon is hitting his nose. Let's go ahead and what should we do next? I think maybe his eye, we better put his eye in place. So, oh, let's see. I'm going to put his eye right about, maybe it would be better to put his gray on there first. I talk to myself a lot when I'm doing this. I'm going to come right down from the nose, right in the middle of the nose, and then I'm going to loop around just like that, and then I'm going to make where his cheek would be. So this is going to be kind of the gray part of his body, and then we'll be able to put the eye in there. That's why I, want, I didn't know whether to put the eye first or the gray first, and this is the way I decided to do it. But you do it whatever way you want. All right, we're gonna put his eye, that's the bottom of his eye, then we're gonna loop up and we're gonna match the shape of that gray. We're gonna go right along with it, but inside. Let's go ahead and make his eye. And then we're gonna go put a couple of those highlights we're not gonna color in. And while I'm here, I'll just go ahead and color that in black. So now we've got a little guy looking up at the moon. Now let's go ahead and put his body on here. I'm going to start with going down, I'm going to put his chest, but we're going to leave his chest a different color, so we're going to make it just like that, kind of a little point. And then we'll go in and put his back. Now we're going to put his back right close to those ears, but not quite touching them. And we're going to go right about there, and we're going to come down, and then we'll make his foot right across. See how I did that? A line and then straight, and then I'm going to put it up for his little paw. And then in here, we want to show where his back leg is kind of sitting. So we're going to make a circle, just like that, a half circle. And then we'll connect it. See how that looks like his back leg is sitting and his little paws there? And then we'll go ahead and put a little line for his paws. Now we'll go ahead and put his front paw in here. Same thing, a little bump. And then we'll put two little paws on there. And then we'll put another one that we're really not going to see very much because it's behind. So now we have our little wolf. Now he has to have a big fuzzy tail on him. So let's go ahead and put his tail just like this. And then we'll connect it and go right down like this. Now if I'm going too fast, stop your video, 
catch up and then turn it back on. So if you're working at saying, wait, Miss Angela, I'm still on the eye, then just stop the video and then you could do the next part. Just do it very slow, little parts at a time. It's how you learn and it's how you become a great artist. Now, little wolves are usually howling at the moon. So I'm gonna put a moon up here. I'm gonna put a half moon. So we know it's nighttime. So I'm gonna make a curve and then a big curve. Looks like he's howling at the moon, doesn't it? Now, just so we can have a lot of color in here, I'm gonna put our tree line, and you know how to do a tree line now. We just do squiggly lines, some are high, some are low, and we are ready to color. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do my yellow. I usually tend to start with the lighter colors first, so that way, if I were to be, like the sky was all blue and I got blue in my yellow, that wouldn't be so good. But if I put my yellow on there first, then that kind of helps out a lot. All right, so our yellow is almost on there. Big, beautiful yellow moon in the sky. Now I'm gonna do our wolf white and gray. So I am going to do, hmm, I'm gonna do this part. I'm gonna leave his face white and I'm gonna color the rest of his fur in gray. Now when I showed you how to draw this, I made the lines very straight. You can also make them kind of jagged or kind of a uh, little fur coming off so it looks more furry. But I was trying to teach you so you could get it done and it wouldn't be, you wouldn't be going, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I don't want to discourage anybody before they get going. All right, here we go. We're almost got the head done. And then we'll do the ears. And we'll do the other ear right here. All right. Now it's looking more like a wolf. Now I'm going to do at least this part of his body white. So the rest of it, I will color in gray. I'm going to try to color a little fast. I try to stay out of the way when I'm coloring so you can see, but sometimes I get right in the way. I play back the videos and I think, oh my gosh, you were in the way. How can anybody learn if you're standing in the middle of it? And you know what? I might, I'm going to go back and I'm going to leave his paws white too. I'm going to add a little line on his paws so his paws can stay white. Just something so there's something different. But your wolf could be all gray if you want him to be. And sometimes gray uh, wolves are a different color, but this most of the time you think of a wolf as a gray wolf. All right, we've got our wolf on there. Now, I'm going to borrow, I didn't get a pink out, so I'm going to grab a little bit of pink, and I'm going to make his ear pink. Okay, now it's the big coloring job. It's to make all the background, because he's kind of simple. But we want to make him look like he's outside. He's out in the forest at night. He is howling at that moon. I will color this in very quickly so you just get the idea of how to color it in. And maybe yours is different. I had a couple little boys send me the pictures of their Batman and their um, Superman. And I noticed that they did their own backgrounds in it, which was really cool. They did um, Superman, they put a moon behind him too, just like they did Batman. And then they put him a, like a bunch of buildings, like a city. I thought that was pretty awesome that they used their imagination and added even more to the picture. Like I said, I give you the basics, how to do something or how to draw, and then it's always great when you add your own stuff. So many times people, the kids add their own things to it, which makes it really neat. But you can follow along just exactly like this too. There's nothing wrong with that. The more you draw, the more you practice, the better you get at it. All right, now I will draw my sky dark blue because I want it to look like nighttime. So let's go ahead and put this on here. And it's going to be nighttime. All right, that is looking fabulous. I am loving this. I love drawing with everybody every day. I know it, it gives me a reason to get up and start thinking about things I can do and what costumes I can put on and all that. So it, it, it makes my day more exciting too, rather than just sitting around watching TV or eating. Eating, I do a lot of eating while I'm at home. Are you always asking for your mom and dad for a snack while you're locked in? I know, 
And I go to the refrigerator and think, oh, there'll be something new in there. But there's never anything new. It's always the same stuff, but I still have to open the refrigerator door and look all the time. All right, I'm going to move over to this other side and see if I can't get this done a little faster for you. Because you know what it's going to, you know what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to be a blue sky, but we'll get it kind of scribbly on here so I can say we're done. I try not to make the videos really, really long, so that way if you have to stop them and go back, it doesn't take you hours and hours to do them. So, boys and girls, this is our little wolf howling at the moon. So I would like to see yours and see how you do them. Now, remember, do what I tell you every day, to be safe, to wash your hands, to listen to your parents, to be creative, and to stay kind to each other. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to think what we have tomorrow. I can't remember what we're doing. I, I try to get them all in advance, but I can't remember what tomorrow is. So you'll just have to tune in and find out. So everyone, I'm going to grab my wolf head, and I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Bye-bye, everybody. Rawr.